Okay, in this video, we are going to hook up a display to the Raspberry Pi Pico. Now, normally when we hook up a display to a microcontroller, it's usually an LCD or OLED display. But in this video, we're going to be using our smartphone as a display. The smartphones are very handy. Everybody has one. And it will be wireless. You can see I have an HC06 Bluetooth module mounted on my breadboard hooked up to the Pico. So we could send sensor values from the Pico through Bluetooth to our smartphone as the display. Now I'm using an app called Arduino Bluetooth Terminal and it's a free download from the Google Play Store. Now this app will turn your smartphone into a display. It can display up to 10 values but in my project I'm only going to have three sensor values being sent to my display. The first one will be the onboard temperature sensor on the Pico. Then I have a pot that's hooked up to ADC0 so we'll have values from 0 to 65,535. Then I have a push button switch where we'll sense open or close contacts. So those are my three sensors I'm going to feed to my smartphone using the app Arduino Bluetooth Terminal. Okay, I have my app up and running on my smartphone. And you can see I have three labels set up for my three sensors. I have my temperature label, my pot ADC label, and my switch label. And each label has a text box associated with each label. Now once we pair to the HC06 Bluetooth module, these text boxes will be filled in with our sensor values. Now this app is capable of setting up 10 sensors. So we could actually display 10 sensors. This is where we set our labels. So if we select one of the sensors, now we can punch in a label name and that will be shown on our main page. So if we go back to our main page, there's our three sensor labels. So we'll pair it to our HC06 Bluetooth module and then we'll see the readings, our sensor readings, being displayed in the text boxes. Okay, I have my smartphone paired to my HC06 Bluetooth module through the Arduino Bluetooth Terminal app. And the LEDs are solid on the module, so it's communicating. And you can see three sensors, the temperature, the pot ADC, and the switch on my smartphone. And right now the switch is open. It's, it's detecting open contacts. So when I press on the switch, you see it goes closed, so I'm detecting the switch. Now the pot ADC is 65,535, so it's at 3.3 .3 volts. So if I, vary, if I vary the pot, you can see my ADC values are changing, and I go all the way down, and I can bring it all the way back up to 65,535. Now the temperature sensor on board the Pico, I was going to use cold spray, but I ran out. So I have a heat gun, so we'll go the other way. You can see the temperature going up using my heat gun. And I have the accuracy to one degree because it's not very accurate. So there you are, you got three sensors. Now if you have a complex project, you could either you could actually have up to ten sensors being displayed on your smartphone. Okay, here's the code running on the Pico, and it's written in MicroPython, and I'm using Thony as my editor. So if you look at the very top, I'm importing pin and UART. So I'm using UART0 at 9600 baud. That's what's feeding the, the Bluetooth module. Button is pin 22. That's a push button. It's configured as an input with a pull-up. So when I press on the push button, it's pulling down pin 22. Then we go into a while true loop. So this is a continuous loop. So this whole block here is continuously looping. And there's three blocks of code. So this block here it's for the temperature. This block here is for, for the pot and the ADC value. And this block here is for, for detecting the push button, either o open or closed. So this line here is the UART write, which sends the data to the Bluetooth module. And this UART write sends the ADC value to the Bluetooth module. And this UART write is for detecting the push button open. And this one's for detecting the push button closed. Now if you look at the end of these lines, this ends in a comma, the second one ends in a comma, and the third one ends in a semicolon. The semicolon is saying that that's the last sensor. So if we had 10 sensors, then the 10th sensor code would end in a semicolon. So this is continuously looping, sending out the temperature data, the, the pot data ADC value, and the push button open or closed. Okay, the coding for this project is fairly simple. 
So you could use any microcontroller of your choice and any language of your choice. So basically what you do, you read your sensors and you get your sensor values and you send them out the serial port in a string. So you'll have sensor 1 value and then a comma, sensor 2 value and a comma, and sensor 3 value and a semicolon. Now you put a semicolon there because that's the last sensor. So if you had 10 sensors, you put the semicolon after the sensor number 10. So each comma tells the app to jump down to the next text box to enter the sensor value. Okay, so let's have a look at the hardware setup. So we have 5 volts coming off V bus, which is this pin here. And it's getting the 5 volts off the USB connector. And that 5 volts is fed across and down into the HC06 Bluetooth module, so we're powering it with 5 volts. Now the ground of the Bluetooth and the ground of the Pico are connected together. And the TX output of the UART of the Pico is fed into the RX input of the Bluetooth module. Now the push button is connected to pin 22 which has an internal pull up on the Pico so when we press the push button we're pulling down pin 22 and there's our ground connection and the pot is feeding 0 to 3.3 volts into ADC 0. So that's our hardware setup so all we need is a little display. Now what I like about this it's wireless, it's clean and we can also use a tablet if you want a bigger display so it's good for teaching. So that's a little idea how to, how to use your smartphone as a display.